All right, Tim, do you think it's time we normalize super thick, super thick boys? We're talking four to five slots here, Tim. Five slots. <laughs> GPUs are like the Asus Noctua 3070 for better silence and cooling in the future, since Crossfire slash SLI and anything other than the first PCIe slot on the motherboard aren't used by the average gamer. There is plenty of unused space in an ATX system for larger GPUs, so that's certainly true. Uh, personally, I'd rather a bigger heat sink than water cooling uh, to get lower temperatures. I think the main concern is it, there's some design challenges, I suppose, of how you attach it to the I.O. bracket yep. uh, and reducing things like GPU sag, which can be quite difficult. Yeah, weight uh, would be a big issue. Weight is the big problem because not only is it... It's not just the actual PCB that the cooler is attached to. That you, you can reinforce that with relative ease to stop it from flexing. Um, there's the bit of the droop off the, the bracket, which can be a problem. Yep. And then there's also an enormous amount of pressure placed on the PCI Express slot itself. So if, I think if, if you delicately put the system down, you install a card and you don't touch it, probably going to be okay. But if you pick it up and you sort of put it down quite harshly, <laughs> there's quite a, a thud there on the weight of the card that would really stress the slot. And of course, if you chuck it in your car and take it somewhere, it's really going to... Um, it's really going to give that PCI Express slot a workout. So weight, as Tim said, is the really big concern there. But also, I think they have, maybe for flagship cards it might make sense. But for most cards, you don't want it to be wildly impractical. You want to be able to move it from case to case, from system to system. Uh, you don't want to run into a situation where when you go to resell it or even when you're buying it originally, that case compatibility becomes a really big issue. And I know in most instances you're talking about going downwards so you could make the card more compact but then it's a balance of why make it narrower that way and go that way um yeah and you have all the drawbacks we just spoke of rather than going so yeah i think what we've seen even with current cards is stuff like the rtx 3090 founders edition has a pretty good cooler on it and it's only a triple slot so mm -hmm. in this question we're talking about adding one or two slots on top of that how much would that benefit a 3090? 3090s run pretty quiet. They're pre well, that's reasonable. And that car is already a 350-watt GPU. Like, you'd have to be talking 500-watt GPUs to justify the, sort of your four slots. Yeah, and the other... Can, I guess if, you, if you're extracting the heat away efficiently enough from the what is the front side, the, the GPU side of the card, it's probably not as much of an issue as what I was thinking about, but... It's all good and well to have a giant cooler for a super power hungry card, but you are still going to get a lot of built up heat on the other side of the card as well mm. that would need to be extracted. So you'd need like a four slot card where you've got three slots of heat, of heat sink at the bottom and one slot of heat sink at the top. Yeah, which would have zero compatibility with just a bit, well, not zero, but it would have near enough to zero compatibility with most systems. So I think, um, yeah, probably not going stupid on the coolers is the way forward. Yeah. I think we've seen three slots sort of be the that optimal spot. Yeah, because yeah. you could have had this conversation back in the Fermi days. Yeah. That, oh, my God, cards are going to need to be three, four slots now to keep them cool. But And it would be easier to have a four or five slot cooler if it was reinforced on both sides. Like if you had the I.O. bracket on both ends. Sure. I mean, obviously, you wouldn't have it on both it's ends. Just, it makes no it's just like sense, a table but, end. <laughs> but if, yeah, you had one there and one there, then yeah. you'd stop the droop that you get on the, yeah. on that outer edge. So that would Some cases have things like that. Yeah. Uh, so I've seen some of those, like, you, there's, there's brackets. poles and yeah, brackets yeah, yeah, and yeah, stuff. A lot but, of things like that, but... Again, you don't want to require that for every GPU. No. So.